Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Elm Creek. Yeah, we're here on our farm, just dropping off some bales uh, with the magic touch of, uh, well, magic. So, yeah, two uh, trailer loads of silage bales uh, from our grass that we cut last episode. Now, we just need to come in and collect the rest. If we can uh, get Mr. Uh, auto loading trailer to work. Uh, I must admit, um, not a huge fan of this particular trailer compared to my uh, other one, but this one holds some more bales and I wanted to give it a try. So it, it just takes a little more uh, love and, well, unlike that silage bale I ran, but yeah. Just a little extra TLC, so we can get this done. Uh, we're not going to get another uh, load of silage bales, or full trailer load, I should say. But what I think we're going to do with uh, these here, we can come over. Uh, and let's put them here, I think. Uh, we can see if we can... No, can't get them any further back, but good enough. Um, so yeah, so those will remain for our TMR mixer at this uh, at this stage. Uh, those are slated to be sold. And if you recall, this is our emergency field, um, which we probably won't need to end up cutting again. But, you know, maybe for the last hurrah when we say that's it and we're just doing one last cut around the farm, we might do it. But for now, it seems we can get away with it. But one thing we can't get away with uh, ooh, this month is besides ramming all our grass bales is coming over to our TMR mixer. Uh, and I think giving one good feeding of the cows before sounds like, yeah, we're just going to do running of the poles. We're doing feeding of the cows. Um, yes, we need to feed the cows. They have food, but I have a feeling they're going to run out. But also, this uh, TMR station is full. So unloading it will help more to be produced, which will be a good thing. We do need to top it up. Uh, and I will find our other tractor, which is somewhere. Um, I'm not sure uh, I've seen it. Um, you know what? I haven't seen either around these parts in a while. It's true code. Has he been over? Borrowing my old, uh, well, he didn't take the front loader, so, um, anyways, no, it's around somewhere, it's around somewhere, um, so, you can see, mixing station, almost full here, we'll get that over to, uh, the cows here in a second, as we need to keep, uh, our eye on the prize and the door, but I, I was gonna say, we need to keep these ladies happy, so, come in. There you go, ladies. Uh, waiting at the trough. Um, kind of like uh, the fish in my pond. Yes, I've got goldfish and koi. Um, those moochers, man. It's it's. You, you swear I have never fed them. So, but these ladies, uh, they deserve the best, and hence they get the the TMR mix here. So, that is good news. So we just need to swing around and park this baby up. Like I say, next time we can, uh, or a little later. We can find our other tractor. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at all that sweet honey. Uh, yeah, my driving today just seems a tad off, which the locals are going to love because we're going to hop into August and we have some harvesting to do. So the reason why I said you better watch out is my driving today is just atrocious. And yeah, we need to oop, take the harvester over, oh, a signpost. Okay, I partially did that on purpose, but not really. But yeah, um, not sure what's gotten into my driving today. Uh, might be the heat where I'm at. But uh, yeah, uh, I will pass a sobriety check. Um, but uh, let's get this disconnected. There you go. Uh, oh, there we go. Auto loading trailer or adjusting trailer. Okay, so we're going to leave that here because we'll, we'll be back for it. Um, I don't think we'll be back for it in today's episode. We're going to go uh, find our other header. Um, and actually, hang on. You know what? 
we've got some money. Let's let's do something that's been bothering me since the dawn of time. Is this little dip? Let's 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 fix this. We we can afford to fix this. So under construction, let's see if I can remember where. I believe it's decorations. Other yeah, here's some bridges. Well, those are different. Uh, but I want just the one that we've used here in the past. I think this fellow would do nicely. And just to kind of cut out, you know, that dip with the poor harvester and the like. Oh, maybe we can go longer. What if we go... Oh, uh, the one thing, unfortunately, we can't do at the bridges, which I would love. Oh, so maybe it's not... Uh, it might be partially worth it, but I would have to terraform down. But I can't have this bridge on a slope. Um, yeah, even with this fancy dancy one, nope, can't can't fix that. All right, well, well, no, won't work either. So yeah, we've downloaded a few bridges here. Unfortunately, yeah, we have some some limitations. Um, but okay, let's come in here. I think we said this one would do. Yeah, well, maybe we'll we'll go with this one. I don't think we've got enough control. Ooh, what if we turn snapping off, remote on? Can we not use this before? And the answer appears to be even worse. Okay. Ay caramba, folks. The jumpy jumpy of me trying to I'm using the uh, scroll wheel on my mouse thinking, hey, maybe I can do something. But the answer is no. Yeah, we are limited basically to here. So let's do that. Well, we probably should have straightened that out a little bit, but hey, hey, you know what? It works. Well, we'll find out if it works. It's only $1,000. Um... But okay, there's our beautiful header. Oh, hang on. You know what? Oh my goodness. Yeah, the heat must be getting to me. This is for corn and sunflowers. Our, our regular header uh, can handle, uh, yeah, they can handle the canola. And yes, I do remember, I believe I mentioned at the beginning, or at the end of last episode, that at the beginning of this episode, we'd probably be looking for some more collectibles. But you know what? Uh, I've decided to pass on that for today. Uh, I think we'll do that for next episode. We'll see if we can find some, because we could use the money. Like, hey, Sargon, you got $157,000 in the bank. Yeah, we're we're slightly deeply in debt. You know, it's, it's only $700,000 um, in debt. Um, please go ahead. I, I, I need... Oh, come on. All right. Let's do this. Like, the black van is like, I've got this. All right. So it's fine. We can handle this. So we got it. I believe... Uh, yeah, we need to... Deploy stuff. We need to lower things. We need to turn things on. Hey, we've... Oh, we got to wait for it to unfold. There we go. Was not fully transformed. Okay, let's raise it make this a little easier. Um, ooh, okay. Well, this is going to be fun, actually. And I say that because... I probably eventually do want to turn a helper on. So you know what we might do to make this uh, easy for us? What if we do a modified headland run? So we don't have to do any tight turns or more turns than we need to. So we can cut across here. Uh, now we have two choices. We can go left or we can go right uh, once we reach the end here. 
Ooh, look at the pretty sunflowers. Yes, very pretty, but not today. Um, so this, we can go right, we can go left. At the end of the day, it's tomato, tomato, or canola, canola oil, but I think we'll go left. Um, and that's just because the turn was easier that way. This is the width the curve. So. All right, so this will, well, it shouldn't take too, too long, although we're, we're filling up pretty good. Now, the good news is our oil mill production is right there. So for this harvest, it's going to be super easy, lemon squeezy, to uh, do the runs. Oh, that's not a bad. Oh, we got the runs. No, okay, never mind. Okay, no, 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 don't think about it. So when we have to take trailer loads, okay, I don't know. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, let's 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 keep our eye on the prize. So, yes, canola oil. Uh, well, canola to the oil mill production to give us our canola oil. That'll be great. Very easy to transport there. Unlike when we have to take uh, grain to our grain mill. Ooh, that is a trip, and not a good one. So, I think if I was to do Elm Creek again, which is low probability. Uh, but here's my advice to you is if you have a piece of land, you can put the grain mill on and just buy it instead uh, and build it yourself, I should say. Um, probably what uh, what you should do. So, but we, uh, we made a decision and we're, well, technically not really stuck with it. We could build our own, but you know, we're fine. Because uh, we have other things to buy in town. Uh, which is why I'm anxious to get some more collectibles to help afford. As I was mentioning, we're broke but not broke. But want to make sure we can buy uh, the grape production. Because soon enough, we're going to have grapes galore. Um, and then the cereal production as well. So a lot of things yet to, to afford. Plus, oh yeah. We have none, none, no uh, grape harvesting equipment. So I think we'll lease it. Because that makes the most sense. So with that, this here is done. Oh, that cow, a oh, cow, that car chickened out. Yeah, yeah, yes. That That's, that's where my mind is. Uh, can't even get my animal straight so but this is uh nice and straight it'll be quick and easy for us to do very happy so that is 53 percent of the way there so let's i think what we're gonna do i think we're good to start putting this on a helper there you go and the reason for that is want to grab uh, this tractor. More importantly, it has this baler on it. And we're just going to go collect the straw quickly. Now, this straw will be sold. We have zero need for the straw. But, uh, hey, um, money's money. And unfortunately... Oop. Unfortunately, uh, we can't really, uh, in base game here, put uh, put a helper on. So, get this going. And this will be a great reminder to, these bales are for sale. Those are different than our, our quadrant bales, our rectangular bales. So, but it's also fun to try this out. Now, this doesn't need to go through our wrapping, so... This should just come out, finish it off, spit it out, drop it, drop it. There we go, yes, perfect. So nice and easy. And the nice thing is this, this modded baler has a slightly wider pickup range. I think it's a little, little, little cheeky at times 
Ooh, okay, speaking of cheeky, um, maybe we should not have come over here right away. Um, and that's because our harvester is filling up. But we're, we're taking that as a challenge, yes. You gotta have a little fun in FS22 here. But let's see if we can finish uh, this field, which I think is it's it's not likely to occur. But let's see if we can get at least half of the field bailed. Um, I think that in itself is uh, is a fun little challenge. Well, that challenge uh, failed miserably. Yeah, it failed. Uh, as you can see, the uh, harvester is full. And uh, yeah, we got that row done. We uh, didn't get this one done. Uh, we got this top one. Yeah, so we, we, we did not do well. We did not do well in that challenge. Okay, so let's park this here. We can grab our big tractor, because uh, it'll just have an easier time uh, with the big, big uh, trailer here. Yeah, should have just uh, done this, but you know what? I, I, too, like to live dangerously, so... So this will be nice. A lot less toting, uh, thanks to the very short distance. Well, of course, of course, it's on the wrong side. Um, okay, but I, th I think not a huge deal because we can just uh, zip in behind. There we go. Take over uh, the harvester. Ooh, okay, maybe it was a, a bigger deal than I thought. Um, I'm like, is can I go backwards in this? Well, I mean, yes. But I also thought uh, my boom arm with this header reached without doing this little dance around the tractor. But you know what? It's it's fine. Uh, it, I'm probably thinking of my other header. I think the corn header, sunflower header is a little shorter. So perhaps uh, that's what I was thinking about. But this is looking good. We are going to be getting all of this into that a very, very soon. Okay, we can send this back on its way. Uh, we should be in a position now to nudge our tractor just a little, because who doesn't like doing that? Oh, caramba. Um, yeah, thankfully I am not on the roads today. Um, all right, so we can get you back on a helper. And then we can just hop back here, get things rolling again. So we should, uh, with a capital should, uh, be able to uh, get this all built up before the harvester uh, needs a loading again. didn't take uh, too too long and we haven't even gotten the harvest warning message which honestly I would have been shocked to get but you know it's it's still fun to, to see if we can uh, well it's fun to have a little fun so let's let's put it that way so this here is basically done I don't think we're getting another complete bail out of this which is obviously not a big deal this will likely become a silage bail at some point in the future because of you know just how things work it's just magic so that's fine so with that this here is done um so we have that uh done that done we have this uh field completely done the harvest of the canola crop is underway so that is all good news 
Well, this worked out extremely well for us here. So, the harvester, I was keeping an eye on it. So, I had the trailer already keyed up. And it stopped on the correct side. So, easy peasy. Love it. Love it. So, that is nice. So, you can see already, this is our second uh, unloading of the harvester. And the field is, is almost done. We've got an up and back, and that's going to work, work out actually quite well, because once it comes back, we can take over and uh, basically get rid of that back area. But what I think we're going to do, we're not going to tempt fate too much. As you can see, we're at 80 some percent. We'll see exactly where we stop. Probably 88. I'm going to guess 88 because we were 44 before, so let's go with round 88. Ooh, you made a liar out of me. But nonetheless, 87%. So I think that what's left is more than what this uh, trailer can hold. So now we're going to do what uh, I'm going to love to do, which is just drive right over here. Very quick. In fact, we're probably going to get unloaded before the harvester even gets up to the top of the field here as we cut across traffic see some glorious money just sitting out in the sun so while that is unloading actually i think we'll wait for it to unload you can see happen pretty darn quick yeah you can't even see the harvester well you can see movement behind the trees so it's it's making some good time but we are empty so we can come in now to our productions. Uh, we can turn on the canola oil. Thank you very much. You can see as well, we probably do need to move some product around and it looks like, yes. Yeah, we do need to top up the TMR mixer, which we kind of knew we had to do, but as you can see, we definitely need to do it. So that is something we will do. And we just jot back over here. But for me, it makes more sense to at least bring uh, the tractor down here. Probably just leave it here for now. And then come in and take over the harvester. We won't live dangerously. We'll go right down the middle. Please and thank you. Oh, okay. So, oh my goodness, we are just by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Although there's probably going to be a spot. Oh, so far so good. Oh, no, we lost a couple. Okay, so, so close. But that um, was most of it. We can quickly double back. Um, grab this bit that little bit so we missed those really this one the helper missed you know not gonna hold it against them but you know you did miss it so in fact there's I think there's a little bit there that I missed as well on top but that's fine we uh, we won't worry about that so let's see does this get more than 13% Oh, we can't tell without being in the tractor. So we'll find out. We'll find out together. Feels like a lot of suspense. Probably more suspense than our little uh, straw game. So, all right. So let's see. Okay, that was a good call. That uh, was 23%. Just squeeze ourselves in here. You know, it's our, you know oil mill production, so I don't know who decided to park their van there. It's not ours. I should get that towed. Okay, so that is done. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to hop out of this tractor, hop into this little guy here. So we can leave the fertilizer on there. It's, it's not going to harm anything. What we need to do is line ourselves up. Hey, not not too bad, not too not too shabby. Uh, now I 
don't think those other bales are ready. They might be, but we know this is uh, this is silage, so we can drop this fellow off. It can take it. Now, the nice thing about having the fertilizer on the back is, if you recall last time when I was trying to pick up two bales, it was having none of it. Although at the moment, we don't need to truly test that. All that we need to do is see if I stick that in there. Yes, it's silage. Perfect. So one more of these is going to do quite nicely. And this is what I love about this TMR mixing station. A great mod available on Mod Hub. Really takes out a lot of the effort. Ooh, speaking of effort. Yeah, we are out of... Well, this is the last of the hay. So we will need to next cut. Oh my goodness. Focus. Stabby stab. Let's pick it up. Raise it over the other bale, because it's it's like not wanting to get separated, but it's going to have to. So yeah, so next time we are going to have to uh, do some hay. Maybe this field here will we'll do hay. The rest will turn to silage. Uh, you know, figure that out. Play it a bit by ear. Um, because we do want to make a lot of money because we're carrying a lot of debt. And I think the silage is going to play a big part of that. So there we go. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Much, much better. Okay, so that's done. So the next thing for now is we need to come over here and move some of these products out of the spawn point. We'll start with the bread, and that bread amazingly looks good, especially, is that sourdough bread? Mm. Okay, um, wow, 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 oops, oops, mistakes are being made, I fully admit that, I fully admit that. So let's just calmly, calmly pick that up, there we go. I, I think I think we're probably fine for now. But man, look at all that beautiful money sitting there that any local could just come by at night and well, maybe even during the daytime. But that is money sitting there. I think this was a great investment. So before we leave this area, because we I do want to do one more thing. I haven't mentioned, but we're gonna start one more thing. Um if we come to the bakery, okay, it's it's pretty well stocked of everything that it needs. So we we could we could move some product in there, but I think we're fine for now. I think we're fine. Now, what I want to do, uh, which I tend to forget to do, is I want to get the the mulching started on our canola field. This is something I tend to forget to do, and it's a shame because it adds, I believe, two and a half percent to uh, our yield curve. Okay, hang on. Need to do. Let's cycle through some things. Let's move Mr. Harvester out of the way. There you go, out of the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, because just looking at the train, it's it's going to be fun to do. But I think we're going to follow the same strategy as we did last time. Is we'll come up here, mulch some of the grass for good measure, because reasons. But it's fine. Yeah, so this is going to add 2.5%. Uh, now, my goal, my objective is through this season, try to get to 100% efficiency on our fields. And the mulching is going to be a big, a big way for that. So say it's something that I tend to forget. But, you know, since we're focusing and trying to focus on one field at the time, yeah, I 
left the sorghum field. That is a next episode thing. That way we're not jumping back and forth too, too much. But with that said, I think it is a good point to, uh, I think we're going to leave it here. We're going to let the helper uh, take care of things here because, you know, this is somewhat watching uh, paint dry. So we'll let the helper take care of this. Um, you guys have a good day. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care. We'll see you next time.